Hey everyone, Jeff Archon here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bubbler. Sorry for the delay in these reviews. Trying to get the microphone set up lately has been a massive pain in the butt. The setup I've got at the moment is not ideal, but it works a hell of a lot better than what I would probably be using earlier. Anyway, we kick things off this episode with a brief moment of deception, given that Marinette loudly exclaims happy birthday, so we're led to believe that it's hers. Only to find her making kissy faces at the computer screen because it is, in fact, Adrian's birthday. Also, evil mom is best mom. I have to say that my own mom watches my videos and has made the very same threat as Marinette's mother does, as I'm sure many a person's mother do has done as well. Anyway, the episode soon sets things up pretty well concerning the relationship between Adrian and his father, especially in regards to Adrian's birthday. Which is to say, it kind of falls into the style a little of rich father, no time for son deal. A thing to note with the scenes involving Adrian's house is the sheer scope of it in comparison to the character placements. Seriously, each time we are given an interior scene with Adrian in this mansion, or any interior scene for that matter, we are given this feeling of large, imposing, empty space, which conveys a sense of how relatively isolated he is, as well as the overall sensation of the mansion itself, giving it its own persona as its intimidating place through the stark contrasts of the white decor and the black marble running vertically along the walls, almost like a prison. The interior itself is a contrast to the exterior which is a warm and friendly sandstone color, which gives the house a facade of being a home. It's a nice bit of show not tell which is always a good way to go with children's shows. I rambled there a little, which is something that Marinette does spectacularly in this episode along with the range of whoops facial expressions she goes through with her quest to give Adrian her gift and him acknowledging her for it, with Alia playing the supportive slash suffering accomplice. Speaking of suffering slash supportive accomplices, Natalie the secretary definitely fits into the role. Suffering because of her relationship with Adrian's father, who needs her to buy his son a birthday kit, as if it were from him instead, which prompts her to use Marinette's present instead and supportive because you can see from her body expressions here when the topic of the birthday party comes around that she was sincere about attempting to get Adrian's father to concede to the event. Soon enough we're introduced to the villain of the episode, the Bubbler. He's got an interesting physical design composed mostly of conjoined spheres as well as a color palette focusing on the primary colors of red, blue and yellow. Perhaps a visual callback to his desire to get rid of the world's adults. I mean, when I think when you think of children's colors, the f primary colors are the things you tend to see more often with children's toys. And, sp and round spheres, yeah, they're more prevalent as well than anything with sharp edges. Although, having said that, whilst his intentions are good, Bubbler does have a malicious side to him as shown when he threatens to send the rest of the class into the sky if they didn't party with him. Speaking of malicious, although not despicably so, Plague is most definitely the devil on Adrian's shoulder in this episode, which is a contrast from Tiki who is shown to focus more on defeating the villain so things can return to normal. A slight difference that was shown in the last episode as well but much more accentuated here. Which interestingly enough somewhat translates into the personalities that Adrian and Marinette take on when they become Chat Noir and Ladybug respectively. Not to the same levels as the Kwamis of course, but it is there with Chat being more laid back compared to Ladybug and her being more focused on the job at hand than him. Of course, soon enough events start to escalate with a battle sequence that takes place over a good section of Paris, even involving the Eiffel Tower for that final setting. Turns out bubbles can double as, as explosives. Who are you? So with a quick fix of the town soon after and we go back to our regular lives, Marinette even giving up the chance to set Adrian straight about the Scarf's origins. All in all, a nice Adrian-centric episode that also served to give some rules about how their powers work, as well as exploring more of the characters' personalities, human and Kwame alike. Jeff Archfiend, bugging out.